I remember being 15 years old, waiting in the locker room for my first varsity tournament match to begin. It was the first time competing in something like this, so you could imagine all the thoughts and emotions running through my mind. You know, like, am I gonna let my team down? Am I gonna let my family down? I mean, my brother had already made quite the name for himself at my school, so you know how tough it could be having to follow in somebody else's footsteps. Then here I was, just a scrawny 100-pound kid trying to prove to everyone, even himself, that he deserved to be there. So yeah, of course I was anxious. Yeah, I was scared. But to be honest, what I was the most was excited. I was excited that all the hard work and all the long hours that I had put in got me to where I was that day. I remember walking through the wooden double doors, my A6 squeaking on the gym floor as I approached the rest of my team. I remember sizing up the other wrestlers, trying to figure out who I would go up against. I remember this one dude in particular who looked like all American Hercules already standing on the mat, and I thought to myself, well, at least I don't have to go up against that guy. And that's exactly when coach calls my name. Boom! The match hardly began, and I'm already face down into the mat. Every time I try to stand up and regain my balance, boom! Over and over again, I'm taken down. With 30 seconds left in the first round, I found myself caught, about to get pinned. But I knew I had to keep fighting. I worked too hard for this. And right as I feel I have nothing left to give, the whistle blows, and we break. I recollect myself and remember thinking, there's no way he's taking me down again. I remember after I broke my leg, the image of who I thought I was would be shattered. I was afraid of losing the respect of my peers and scared of never being the same athlete again. It was at this point that I realized I had a decision to make. I could let this fear pin me down, or I could turn it into the hope of finding something new. During this time, I found myself constantly turning to music as a way to cope with this situation. I would think to myself, man, I wish I could play guitar, but I could never do that. I decided to try and pick up the one my Uncle Cream let me borrow, trying to teach myself anything that I could. He's the one who showed me my first few chords and told me, this is all you need to share your own stories. And after that, I became obsessed with writing songs, and it felt like each song I wrote was another step towards recovery. So remember that life is all about perspective. It's 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Every challenge ahead of you is just another step in your journey and just another chapter in your story. So find the meaning in the challenge and write the ending that you deserve. Embrace every obstacle that you were confronted with and become stronger from them. Because ultimately, it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. So remember that. <laughs>